All right, guys, so I'm starting a new segment called Motivation Mondays, and as you probably know, I'm a big fan of inspiration and, and really um, going beyond just the fitness and nutrition and health stuff because I think at the end of the day, really, you know, whether it's whether it's after better health or, or financial success or whatever it might be, better relationships, it all comes down to what's in here. So I want to give you guys every Monday a, a little kind of a food for thought type of video, some inspiring stories and some things to get your week off on the right foot. So today, what I wanted to do was, with the Super Bowl actually just happening yesterday, I wanted to talk a little bit about how life is kind of like football. And that's kind of the way I see it a little bit because generally I'm not a huge fan of football, um, American football. I have nothing against it. I just don't enjoy watching it that much. But I think what I like to do is look at um, different things in life and looking at how I can pull lessons from them. So. With football, what I thought of is, you know, it's there's a lot of similarities between the game itself and life. So let me give you a couple analogies here. So, you know, we live in a culture of instant gratification, uh, instant success. We have these ideas that, you know, these successful celebrities and, 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 and uh, athletes achieve success overnight and it just seems like they just came out of nowhere. But the reality is that we don't understand or we don't, we tend to forget that there's been a lot of work to achieving that kind of success. And it's kind of like a duck floating on the water. It just seems all nice and calm, but underneath the water, there's a lot of there's a lot of crazy paddling going out with their feet. So um, the reason I think football is, is nice and uh, kind of an analogy to life is that unless, I mean, there's obviously the Hail Mary pass where the guy just runs the entire field and scores a touchdown or, you know, off a kickoff or uh, off a punt, catches the ball and somehow makes his way through everyone on the field and, and scores a touchdown in one shot. Now, those are very rare occurrences, but if we look at the game itself, it's incremental improvements, right? It's incremental progress that leads a team down to the ultimate touchdown. And I think there's a lot of merits of looking at our life like that because in life, it's not we're, we're happiest not so much in the achievement of a goal, it's the progress towards that goal that makes us happiest. Think about this, if you're sitting in traffic, it's not really exciting, it doesn't really make us happy. And it's, I think, it's because we're not making any progress, right? We tend to be happiest in life when we are moving towards or progressing towards bettering ourselves, achieving a specific goal. On the highway, we're actually moving somewhere as opposed to sitting bumper to bumper. So with football, you know, you get 10 yards to get the first down, it's kind of moving towards that 10 yard increment that is really important to think about. So in life, it's like, how do you chunk down what you're working towards in 10 yard increments? And only focus on, you know, you can focus on the big goal, the ultimate objective, but then really break it down to those small 10 yard chunks. As an example, you might know that my mission, my personal mission is to help 10 million people achieve amazing health and fitness by 2018. Now that's my big kind of five-year goal as of about a year and a half ago. So I have that stretch goal, but then in the interim, what I'm focusing on are the 10-yard actions that I can take that I know will ultimately move me towards that mission of helping 10 million people. I'm not really worrying about what's happening in the two-year interim because I know that if I take those 10-yard increments now, it will move me towards that ultimate objective of 10 million people being healthier and fitter. So in your life, what are the things that you can do? What's the ultimate objective for you? What is your, you know, your mission, whether it be health or relationships or success, whatever it is for you, what is that big goal for you? And then how do you chunk it down into the small incremental 10-yard actions or goals that you can take now, those process goals that you have control over, okay? Now, I don't have control over whether I can directly help 10 million people. That's kind of, that's my outcome goal. But I do have control over the specific processes, the specific actions I can take now to move towards that. So for instance, creating a video like this for you, this I have 100% control over. Do I have control over how many people will watch it? Not really. I mean, indirectly, there's some stuff we can do to get it more viewed, but the reality is that I only have control over shooting the video and uploading it to YouTube. So in your life, focus on the things that you have control over, okay? Focus on getting up, getting out of the house, going to the gym. You have control over that. You have control over the foods that you buy at the grocery store and bring it to your house. You don't necessarily have control over 
losing 20 pounds. That might be an outcome goal for you. But what are the processes, what are the specific actions that you need to take, that you have control over, that will move you towards that 20 pound weight loss? Okay, does that make sense? Right, so the, the 20 pound weight loss might be the ultimate outcome goal, but chunk it down into the actions you have control over every single day, going for a walk, going for a workout, eating healthier. Those are things you have control over that will eventually move you towards that ultimate goal. Okay, so again, I hope this inspires you. I hope it motivates you to get your week started. And I want you to understand that and remember this, that overnight success is usually a 10-year process in the making. Okay, so if you see all these celebrities or you compare yourself to other people, which, by the way, is the thief of all joy, according to Eleanor Roosevelt, comparison is the thief of joy. Okay, so please don't compare yourself to other people. It's really, it's, it never ends well. So compare yourself to your former self. Compare where you are, who you are today, to who you are, who you were, where you were yesterday, last week, a year ago. Because the goal is improvement. It's progress relative to yourself, not relative to anybody else. Don't look at somebody in your field or a colleague or a friend or a celebrity and compare yourself to them because that's not a fair comparison. We can only compare ourselves to ourselves, you know, from a previous point in time. So remember that, okay? There is really no overnight success. Everyone who has incredible success in this world has worked their butt off to achieve that. With very rare exception, do I know of, has anyone just kind of struck it like that, okay? So remember that. It takes work. It takes persistence. Focus on the short-term 10-yard actions that you can take, that you have control over to help you meet your ultimate outcome goal. All right, so I hope this message finds you well. Hope it pumps you up and inspires you to have an awesome Monday and an amazing week. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.